Hi, I'm Livingston Pule, well known as Stony Waters, and today I'm going to teach you how to use an EQ in Cubase. If you look at the top layer, the top track, that is our beat. That is the mute button, I'm going to mute that. And then everything else is recordings. So, I have multiple takes. So, in post, I can play around with the vocals, I can make him say certain things that he said at a different timing, in a different pace maybe, you know what I'm saying? So I will have more than enough to play around with. That's why I'll keep recording as many times as I can, so I can have leverage to play around. Listen to the vocal, raw. As I dance to the tune in isolation, with my last cigarette, right by the mic stand, and the very cool beer, my sanitized hands. I cool. I mean, you don't have to listen to the whole thing to get what, what you're trying to fix in the vocal. So we put on our EQ, we kill the low frequencies, and then we listen to the vocal again. I get lost in the moment thinking of better days. Some expressions and gold in my niggas stay away. As we stay home, getting fat from fat cakes, does the unbalanced one man drives and taking ways. Man, I got it. What I'm hearing so far from his vocal is that every time he says any word that rhymes with face, fake, play, say, he is just too pronounced. He wanted to pronounce it. I get that from hearing his vocals. So it should be pronounced but it shouldn't be in your face. So I'm gonna look for that that emphasis that he put on and I'm gonna try and tone it down a bit. Thank God for the music. The lockdown got me going mad, so I use it to kill the anxiety and all of the confusion. We face the same. Okay, what did I just do right there? I took one of the knobs and took them as high as I could so I can scroll through all these frequencies and see which frequency is actually this one that's actually too emphasized you know what I'm saying you can either take the second one the third one definitely not the fourth one but one of these two take it up and then play a vocal scroll through and listen to which frequency is most irritating problem with different solutions Sounds like I want to start it As we keep it in cause we are hardy Make sure every day is a house party Did you hear that? Already? The party! You can hear that it's cracking To a certain extent And scrolling through I've already got two frequencies that I think I need to manipulate that will make it sound better. Between 500 and 2000, one of those frequencies is irritating. In fact, both of them are irritating. So now I have a challenge of fixing two frequencies that I've just found out just by doing this scrolling through method. So scroll through. Now that we go with mad, so we use it to kill the anxiety and all of the confusion. We face the same problem with different solutions. Okay, so what I've realized by listening to uh, the different two cracks, there's one that's more irritating than the other. So another problem solved. There were two problems, which were two crackling sounds in his vocals, and we've solved it because now we, we can already tell that there's one that's more irritating than the other. That's the one that everyone will notice at first. So we get rid of what's most prominent, what's most irritating. Take this back down to standards and take number two, because now we've realized that obviously number three overlap to find the frequency now. We want to take this one, number two, as the killing factor of that first frequency that we found. So we're going to take it back up so we can be sure which frequency it is and then play the vocal. There we are. So since now we have it up there, what we're going to do, we're going to make this as sharp as possible. Um, we're gonna manipulate the Q factor to make it as sharp as possible. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up to the max, and then keep it there. 
and play. Make sure every day is a house party. Yeah. So now since it's so thin, it's directed to a specific frequency. So now we have to, within this range, we have to find a specific frequency that irritates you. Yo, let me first speak the street about my location as a dance to the tune in isolation. You hear that? My last cigarette, right by the mic stand in the... It, it sounds like it's got some effects already. And we don't want our vocals to sound like they have effects when there's basically almost no effects. So that frequency is not working. That one right there, it might not be the exact one, but we're gonna find the exact one. And this is how we find it. Very cool, beer, my sanitizer hands. I got lost in the moment thinking of better days. So there we go. That is the frequency that we're looking for. So since we have it now, we've scrolled through, we've raised up the Q factor to find the specific frequency. We're gonna take it all the way down to the opposite side to kill it. One man bras and take it ways. Man, I gotta thank God for the music. The lockdown got me go with mad, so I use it to kill the anxiety and all of the confusion. We face the same problem with different solutions. Marandwana Sawa, Rahuta Loop, Retwakana, Lebana Baro, Naseto Shoop. As we keep it in, cause we are hardly make sure every day is a house party, reggae. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment regarding what you would like to learn in Cubase and then I'll do the tutorial for you. Peace.